Hi, welcome to the Farming Speculation Extravaganza. When I first started out making this video, I didn't realize how much stuff there is to talk about. Good grief. So we better get started. Every time I go into the Discord, I see Lieutenant Toast asking for feedback on features we'd like to see. And as I sit there reading the chat, I can't help but feel like we're describing a simulation game. I say to myself, Self? If Toast actually gives us all this stuff on our wish list, every aspect of Ashes will be a mini simulation game. And it's like this for every profession, including farming. So let's see if we can answer this question. On a scale from 1 to 10, will farming in Ashes be more like Farmville? Or Farming Simulator 19? Let's see if we can't figure it out. Here is a picture of a farm. The farm isn't very big, but the house sure is. However, the size of our freehold increases with the size of our node. And as we just learned in the last Twitch cast, we don't actually need a house on our freehold. We can just have a vegetable stand that will free up the rest of the land for farming. In an old Twitch cast, Steven said our freeholds would be half an acre large, but that was just a number off the top of his head. I don't know if it's accurate anymore. What we do know for sure is that crops are affected by adjacent terrain features, such as rivers. Remember that, because we'll be talking about rivers later. Besides rivers, what other things could affect crop growth? Here in Arizona, we have a thing called water harvesting. When it rains, we collect and store the rainwater in steel cisterns for use later, during the summer, because we only get 12 inches of rain per year. Here's a picture of mine. This is an ancient technique and has existed for a very long time. Here are some pictures of ancient cisterns. Will we see these in ashes? Maybe. Steven! Another technique we use here in the desert are earthworks. See how my garden is sunken into the ground? When it does rain, the water pools in my garden, and that helps it grow. Those black things are banana peels for potassium. When I plant something, I'll turn them under, and they'll melt into the soil, leaving behind their nutrients. Interesting, huh? In case you're wondering, yes, I am one of those green people who rides a bicycle instead of driving a car and grows veggies in the backyard. I gotta save the world. Will we see this in ashes? Hmm, probably not. I don't think Steven will give us access to the terrain editor. But it would be cool to create berms and swales and terraces on the sides of mountains. But will there be places on our freeholds where the rain naturally collects in a depression? And will crops grow better there? Maybe. We've seen rain collecting in puddles before. Speaking of growing nodes, certain node types will allow players to hire farmhands. What? Which node is that? I didn't read that in the blog about science. Financial node, maybe? We'll have to keep an eye out. I don't think it would be a military node. Will religious nodes have wine-making monks? Maybe we can hire grape pickers. I don't know. Also, can my farmhand be a mushroom? Because you know how mushrooms walk around on ashes? Anyway, let's talk about crop rotation. We'll talk about underground farms later. On Vera, each season will last one week. One week of spring, one of summer, one week of autumn, and one week of winter. It's probably safe to assume that winter greens will grow in winter, and summer veggies like tomatoes will grow in summer. Squash and gourds, like pumpkins, will grow in autumn. However, if you want to grow things in winter, you'll need a greenhouse, like this one. In the real world, crop placement also matters. Will planting your crops in the sun, shade, underground, or greenhouse affect your crops? Hmm, maybe. Maybe not sun or shade, but underground or greenhouse, maybe yes. Otherwise, why would a greenhouse building exist? Which brings us to biomes and scarcity. Will we be able to grow anything from anywhere, or no? Will things even grow everywhere? What will grow in the Valen Desert? Anything? What about the Vex Swamp? Will treeholds have farming? I mean, your freehold is in a tree. It's a treehouse. I guess you could grow mushrooms on the wall or something. I don't know. I'm thinking it will be really hard to farm in the Valen Desert. Unless you live next to the Nile River or something. Or have a water cistern. Most likely the river will be dry except during the rainy season. And you'll need to import all your food by caravan. Same with the Vex Swamp. What kind of food grows in a swamp? Will you be able to farm in a swamp? Maybe. If there are fantasy vegetables like mud berries or something, gasparagus, fantasy veggies could also grow atop the icy mountains, like ice cucumbers or something. I think in real life, cloud berries grow in Scandinavia or someplace cold like that. Will anything grow in the sea, like seaweed crops? How would you grow that on your freehold? If you can't grow everything from everywhere on your freehold, that will create scarcity in the vegetable world. 
Things that grow here in the overland will be more common than things grown in the underworld. Since there is 480 kilometers of overland area and only 100 kilometers of land in the underworld. Scarcer still will be things that grow in the icy mountains, swamps, and deserts, since those areas have even less land area than the underground. Of course, boss drops will be the most scarce. Do monsters farm? Will monsters drop seeds? Speaking of seeds, will we be able to save seeds from our own crops? Will there be a thriving seed trade in ashes? And how will we grow these seeds? Will using different fertilizers like compost, dung, and fish emulsion make our crops grow better? What about pests? Will there be pests in ashes? I mean besides monsters? Like locusts? Will companion planting for pest control be a thing? Companion planting is when you plant plants that complement each other together, like squash, peas, and corn. They all help each other grow in the real world. Will that be a thing in ashes? Or is that too much? And what about fruit trees and bark? Aspirin and cork both come from tree bark. Will we be able to grow and harvest trees on our freeholds? Or do we need to find those things out in the wild? Will nuts be a thing? Phew, I told you there was a lot to talk about when it came to farming. Finally, after all that work, how will we sell our produce? I'm assuming produce will be sold as cooking ingredients for food or wine, poisons and potions, stuff like that. Will there be farmer's markets? This looks like a farmer's market to me. Will there be a different market open on a different day like in the real world? Or will the market always be open? It would be fun if it were like the real world so we could travel to different places to sell our goods. But that's just me. What about you? What do you think should be included in the farming profession? Leave your comments below. If you like this speculation video, please like and share. Thanks for watching.